Environmental activists are calling the air they breathe a public health emergency, and they're now asking the governor to put a moratorium on warehouses in the Inland Empire. The warehouses, of course, bring jobs to the local economy, but they've also had a negative impact for some when it comes to neighboring communities. Christy Fajardo has our story. So we're seeing the newest high school in the city um, basically... Uh, encased in warehouses. This corner on Slover and Fontana with warehouses and another in the works, activists say is one example of why a two-year moratorium on warehouses is needed in the Inland Empire. We need help. They say local officials are letting massive distribution centers go up in mostly brown and black communities where students and families are breathing in exhaust from the long lines of diesel trucks that serve them. That's why more than 60 labor, community, and environmental groups are calling on the governor to step in. We're not against building these warehouses. We just want them to be developed in areas that are away from our communities, away from our homes, away from our schools. Anna Gonzalez is executive director of the Center for Community Action and Environmental Justice, the organization that spearheaded the letter to Governor Newsom and Attorney General Bonta. She says she knows firsthand the toll. The warehouse boom in the IE is taking on children's health. Her son is paying the price. When he was visiting the ER for pneumonia and bronchitis almost uh, five times a year, and I knew that that was not normal. She says her pediatrician tied it to the pollution in her Rialto neighborhood. A view from Sky Fox shows massive warehouses have popped up all over the Inland Empire, often lauded by local leaders for the jobs they bring in. It's not our e-commerce, it's e-commerce from other areas, um, but we are bearing the burden of the pollution and the truck traffic. The governor's office tells Fox 11 they have yet to receive the letter, but pointed out the governor has ordered heavy-duty truck manufacturers to go to zero-emission vehicles by 2045. And said in a statement in part, California is taking urgent action to clean the air in communities hardest hit by pollution. In Fontana, Chrissy Fajardo, Fox 11 News.